Hello everybody, it's Samu Sarka here and today we are we are discussing about course reading. We have come to this beautiful beautiful near beautiful lake Nasjärvi in Tampere and we found a pretty good spot for for a few courses so I will I will explain something about course reading on this episode. I made Saku to build build course for me so I can explain you guys how I will how I usually approach approach the course and what do I consider when I kind of read the course and it's important that somebody else does the course otherwise I would basically quite possibly know know how to drive it and have the idea already in my head so it's it's easier when somebody else builds builds the course then I will have to properly read it so that's good now reading the course that Saku has built and it seems that this is uh, harder than average let's say here we have the first gate it's regular breakover gate uh, pretty wide and when you approach the gate it's important to get your mindset so basically you can enter the gate from all this angle here so you have multiple lines on every gate but this gate looks like it it would be easiest to just drive straight up depends on the grip of the moss moss here so there is quite a lot of lot of it so it can make make uh, its own challenge with the grip but this looks simple gate you can approach it basically maybe not from here uh, your rear motor might stuck on this sharp curve here but from here it should be easy okay and then we continue on on second gate and of course it's always important to watch the transition to one gate to another in this case it's easy it's basically from here and when we come here, we see that there is lots of angles and lots of these difficulties on this gate. So my best bet, you can all, uh, at, again, you can look from all the angles. There is multiple and multiple lines to go. But in my eyes, when I know my rig, I would come from down, climb up to this rock, drive it drive it from here straight up so there is no difficult turns to the gate and it, it would be easiest I think this this is quite easy from here you can also come from there but it requires a different kind of skill set to make the turn without rolling over and also from here but the gap is quite big so let's say it's easiest from from down here again from gate 2 to gate 3 easy transition you can drive up from somewhere and come around the little tree and go straight this is this is quite easy there is some moss but this should be quite easy but I think I will save some time and climb up from here because you have to think about time also if you start going around a lot you will lose lose a lot of valuable seconds so I think it will be easiest just to drive straight here. This can be tricky, but we will see. I will, I will take the chances on this gate. Okay, then we have a transition from 3 to 4, and this is actually quite interesting gate. Because technically there is two good alternatives on this gate. Either coming from, from the bottom, which I think is more safe, 
in this case maybe go from the bottom passenger front tire from here and drive a little bit up try to get the front tire on top of this and then drive through I think I will I will choose that way or the other way come up from this crest and uh, try to get the rear driver side tire to stick here with the dick and then turn it from the, down here with the front dick and try through but there is a good chance of rolling over when the car accelerates through the gate so I think it's easier from down here we'll see okay then we have a bonus after I think I will drive it after gate 4 come down uh, when I either way I have to come down I think after 4 so I will try and go to this bonus which is up by the way and usually I I try to look and see where is the grip and feel feel the rock especially when you look at this rock you can see that there is probably a good grip when you count off this this shit over here and there is kind of two alternatives to either drive here or here but I think this moss won't be so grippy so maybe I count that off if it if it doesn't go from here from the first try then I might try again from the other side but usually I try to feel the grippy parts where I can grab the front dig and start climbing so I can I can already see that I will drive from here up to here first then I will do a, a little turn with the front dig so I get I can get the rig sideways then it depends how it will start lifting the front tire do I have to use the rear dig to straighten it up or can I drive straight and then turn to the gate and try to get the front tires between the gate and try to uh, grab with the front dig and when it grabs then just go up and then we have a transition from four I think you will have to drive down and come up besides the four come up here and then then drive uh, there is all, of course multiple lines but we all can see that it should be the most drivable straight up the crack both both tires on the crack and try to go with the crack so I won't say it's easy but let's say there is little to nothing uh, alternatives it's only drive straight up and hopefully you will manage from gate 5 to gate 6 pretty easy transition and the most let's say economic time wise economic way is to drive up from here try to get the grip with the front dig from the top and when it grips use the four wheel four wheel drive and drive up this looks like a grippy spot in my eyes at least okay after gate six the ground is pretty level you can drive behind these trees drive up from here to the seventh gate and this is this requires a lot of luck I think it's a hard gate because after you have put your rear tires from here it's basically the go time it would be ideal if you can get the rig to here before it falls and then shoot with the four-wheel drive through the gate if you drive here and use only the, the keep the rear axle locked it probably starts sliding on that side and then it rolls probably over the gate and then you have to drive it again so be here and then shoot a little bit after the shooting it will be interesting how the car will be but that's that's a worry for that time so we have seven gate there probably some interesting turns over there then we come straight up to gate eight which is spectacular gate I have to say from here it's either you, you will drive straight on this rock and try to keep the four wheel drive all the way because if you start doing with only front dig you will end up down falling so four wheel drive and on this gate when you get the front tires over there I usually push a little bit with the rear dig 
so it really pushes it on the rock so it won't lose the traction with the front tires and then when you get the front tires up just with four wheel drive over the crest okay the gate 8 was there and then it's logical to go to this bonus gate which is this direction so the man line is to come from here i think come over there push some rear dig so you can get the rear end kind of loose and get the car turned better to the gate go a little bit more there and after this you can turn straight drive straight down put your passenger front tire over here and when you get to the crest turn in with the front dig and the whole car will turn on the crack and then you will have to navigate through the crack which can be very challenging I have to say but we will see we will have to see about that then drive through over the gate 9 also other option is to come with the one long reverse all the way there this is pussy line by the way and then do the same with the crack I will just try to do it without the reverse then we have gate 9 also multiple lines but if you if you go and look and this look at this I think the most easiest way to, is to come to straight on this crack and try to navigate with the boat tires on the rock and try to get some grip with the front dig from here and then kind of turn in that crack and drive drive up it can be easier said than done but we will have to see about how it will turn out okay and when you approach from nine you will just drive over this crest turn in and I cannot see any other line that just straight up and get the grab uh, get the grip with the front dig and drive through should be doable but this course in five minutes will be a, a real challenge I will drive all the gates but I will I will try to drive them within the time limit we'll, we will have to see how it goes
I got a pretty good, pretty good result, negative 30. Three minutes 40 in, so that was good, but I took a stupid gate on this bonus gate. So I will now demonstrate and with the, without the time and try to go it easy. We will see if it's any better. I'll stick with my own plan here. like that so there you go there was was my guide for you to course reading it's hard to hard to tell the ways how to how to do it like it should I don't know how it should but that's the way I do it and this was actually a pretty tough course surprisingly good grip made it e made it easier but uh, all the gates let's say went nearly like I planned so I'm pretty happy about it but it's also very course dependable how to how to approach the gates and what's what is your mindset but let's say three things that you must consider is that first one you need to be aware that you have multiple lines, technically 180 degrees to approach the gates. Second one is to remember the time. Don't don't go around too much. Save time if you can, if it's not too risky. And third one would be that stick with your plan. Stick with your own plan. That's usually the best way to learn new stuff. So stick with the plan you created, unless there is something very stupid. But I have found it the most, the best way to learn driving, sticking with your own plan. But yeah, that's about it from, from this episode. Come back later for episode three. <coughs>